to find a way out of here. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. I'm going to choose not to read anything into this. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. How long has this stuff been down here? Probably 12 years. No, 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 come on, no, 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 I can do this, I can do this, Aura is the only lead I've got. Big door closed. And my phone door. I have everything I've dropped. That's something of Riley and Pike. Oh, 
All right, boys, getting close. Helldivers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Yeah, that's what I assume. He was not the hero. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now! <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Jed! Come back! Jed, you son of a bitch! Jed, you gotta stop, man. It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I did see at the start in like Abe's notebook. He was supposed to be here. And everyone's was. <laughs> So Jed just kind of killed the entire family. To sum it up, huh? And, during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven 
are the same values that Typhon was built on. Ugh. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Fuck you, Jack. Alex! Oh my god! I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. Obviously. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been oh. lying to all of Fuck you. Off, Diane. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, you what's going on? You shot me! Fuck you! Fuck you. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was... Obviously, a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. It would have been smarter to find that stupid thing so that we have something we could say, yeah, but why did I need to sign this? Why don't you just tell the truth? 
You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. Dad, do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No, I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know, I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who we're trying to help. This is an act. You're lying. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of I course I do. That. Thank you. Okay, but believe me too, yes. I would like to speak. Please. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. I agree with Ducky. I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. Good thing we didn't tell Riley. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. Miss Lath, there's no actual evidence of anything. Maybe not, but that's what I think. <laughs> I love you. I think we fucked up Charlotte. with Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. Yeah. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. Have you fucked up? I'm with sorry. Her? I'm so sorry. I was afraid he's gonna take her life. Don't worry, Alex. I got okay, this. but but we didn't fuck up with Mike. Oh, we just fucked up with Charlotte. Have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes, we went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the weasley way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know. Don't how test you me, Jason. You know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from- cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up, wait a minute. Me that a voting member of this I'm really sorry. Openly admitted to a personal bias this is a load Are of you? bullshit. <laughs> I don't believe this. Is ridiculous. We're all getting ahead of ourselves. The fuck, Ryan? Why are you doing this? I'm not your lapdog anymore. Deputy Pike, what? I am not responsible for any frustrations. You My dad is not a murderer. <gasps> Were you afraid 
We couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? They tried to kill me! I thought we were in this together. Look at me! For Gabe. Ryan. No. Are you mad because I didn't kiss you but I'm staff? Not you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, yeah, fuck dead. you. Stop. Tell the truth, Dad. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. You know, when we were kids, we goofed around to escape, to pretend everything was better for a little while. When I got to Haven, the first thing we did was dance around like total dorks. And it wasn't an escape from anything. He was happy for the first time in his life. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive, to get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I was starting to feel that here. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. I think he's a good man, but he's a good man. You tell yourself you're a hero. A strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you.
But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Probably was selfish at this I don't think he's selfish anymore. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And then you gave your soul to Typhon. Mm. You let them tell you how awful it would be for your wife and son to find out. You let them tell you that Haven was more important than the men who died. When it really mattered who you were and what you stood for, you let Typhon decide for you. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. time at your relatives well right you just missed a whole bunch of fucking story here and i forgive you Stop. <laughs> 